I'm going to apologize right now if my voice seems a bit out of it or if I'm talking a bit too loud, but last night I went and saw Motionless and White and All That Remains, you know, two of my favorite fucking bands, and so kind of, you know, used it a bit, quote unquote, I don't know. You know, when you're at a concert, you shout words and stuff, and also your hearing goes away a little bit, so I apologize for that if I'm too annoyingly weird, but eh, whatever. Anyways, hey guys, it's Wild. Got a match here today on Showdown against this guy. Uh, doing Pokebank OU using Top 6 Pokemon, which is basically the same thing as the Top 6 for regular OU, except there's a Kangaskhan instead of the Ferrothorn. Which is really random, but I'll, I don't care. Um, by the way, Gengarite is now banned on Showdown. I thought they were going to take a little bit to do it, because I thought it was supposed to be for their initial ban list, which was supposed to happen later, but I don't know. I guess I read it wrong, but no, I don't have Mega Gengar on this team, so eh, kind of isn't as good, but I'll deal with it. Anyways, uh, opponent's team, he's just got a bunch of threats. Mandibuzz has actually been really annoying lately. Not Like, not going to lie, just against this team, it's just... Mandibuzz is annoying. Like, if I can get Kangaskhan set up, it's not too bad, but... Anyways, main threats I am going to look at on his end. It's just a combination of the Mandibuzz and the Aegislash. They're just going to get really annoying really quick, so... I gotta find some way to break through that. It's going to be really hard to do, but I know I can do it. It's just a matter of working through it, so... Anyways, leads on his end. It seems like the Landorus is going to lead. Otherwise, his Rotom could lead, so I figure my Rotom would be the best lead, so... With that, let's just get into it. So he's going to lead off with the Landers, like I was kind of expecting, so I do lead off my Rotom also on the other side of Konarni's Hell. But anyways, uh, I'm just going to go for the Woolowisp right off the bat, because Hydro Pump does seem slightly obvious, so he could switch out to anything, so I might as well try and burn something. But he goes into the Kyurem right here, and I'm like, well, fuck, I miss Willowis. That would have been perfect! God damn it! But I'm just going to Volt Switch out, because I figure I can take any hit and just go from there. Uh, also, just in case he went for sub, then I can prepare for that properly. But, gonna go into my Age of Slash, like I said, to take anything. And I go for Shadow Ball, not really expecting Mana Buzz, but I forgot Mana Buzz is like the perfect goddamn check for uh, Age of Slash, so that's kind of a thing. But anyways, bring in Rotom right here, because I'm like, okay, I should be able to take anything Mana Buzz does, and then maybe outspeed it and get a Pain Split off. So that's kind of the game plan right there, which also Pokemon Go you means I get Pain Split Rotom. But, the brings in Kirim, I really don't want anything else to take the hit right now, plus there's that chance of prediction, so I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to let this thing go, which is unfortunate because Rotom would have been pretty useful against most of his team, but oh well, whatever the case, going to bring in Kangaskhan right here, and I'm like, okay, let's just power punch. I don't even care if the Age of Slash comes in because we already know by now, I, I can just double Earthquake him so it doesn't fucking matter, but right here, I'm just like, I'm going to go return to see what happens, and he's going to go into Age of Slash right here after he turns out. I thought he would want to lay up rocks, so I thought that's why you might want to stay in, but he doesn't, and he just switches back into Lander, so I'm like, oh, he's going to do this shit. No, I'm not having this. So, he already knows I'm at neutral, so I figure, okay, I can get one power-up punch in right here, and then I can go for a Sucker Punch, because he's going to U-turn out, because you can already tell. He did this before, so he's going to do it again, and with that plus two, I'm hoping that'll be enough to take down the Landers, and fuck yeah, it's perfectly enough. Like, god damn it, Kangaskhan is good. But anyways, he's going to go into the Keldeo right here. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go into my Age of Slash and just, uh, you know, wall this thing. So I'm going to assume he goes into it half being choiced, maybe, just because looking at his team so far, like, his Kyurem seemed choice banded, so I'm going to assume his Keldeo could be scarfed, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just taking the wrong way. But anyways, I went for Sacred Sword just to try and hit the Keldeo best, and he goes into Mana Buzz, and... King Shield affects foul play, herp a derp. Not really though, because it doesn't even matter what their attack stat is. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just King Shielded to just get a little bit of health back. I think no, I didn't. I didn't need any health back. I just want to see what's going on. But I'm gonna go into Greninja right here just because it was the best thing I really had to take on Mana Buzz at this point. So just gonna go for Ice Beam. His Rotom does not have any item, so I'm not really sure what to think of it. But I'm just like fuck it. I'm gonna U-turn because nothing on my team really likes Rotom right now. So. I'm, yeah, just said fuck it, went U-turn, but I do see he's not choi- or at least he's not scarfed, so that's something to keep in mind, but I do sack Talonflame just because it's gonna be the thing I'm not gonna care about as much on my team, unfortunately, but I mean, I can still- I could have still found a way to make it work, but 
it really wasn't worth it at this point, so I just sack it and whatever. But anyways, Mandibuzz comes in, just gonna rinse repeat, going to Greninja again. He goes Roost, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Now, I was thinking about here predicting the switch to Rotom. No, I do predict the switch to Rotom right here and go for Dark Pulse, but he instead goes to Kirim, and I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna kill this Kirim with Dark Pulse. Because, like I said, I assumed it was basically choiced earlier on, so I'm gonna stay with that assumption at this point, so yeah. Anyways, kill it, so that's cool. He goes into Keldeo. I figure he was just gonna go for the Surf, but just in case you want to go for Sacred Sword, I do just go out to my Agile Slash for safety. And him switching out there does also tell me that he is most likely choiced either way. Well, just him switching out before too, that does tell me, so... I mean, I'm getting a good feel for it, and I should be generally safe against it, so that's kind of a thing. But anyways, bring in Greninja again, I'm like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go Ice Beam, because he did see me go Dark Pulse last time, so I'm gonna assume that he's just gonna stay in thinking I'm gonna go Dark Pulse, but unfortunately he does go to Rotom and takes it, and I just try and Dark Pulse there, and I see the rest, I'm like, oh, he's Resto Chesto, cool. So, that's gonna probably get a little annoying, but just gonna go for some Dark Pulses. He just Volt Switches and takes me out, which is fine. I just need some damage off. I mean, it would've been nice to still have the, uh... Fucking... Still have... If I can think of what I'm thinking of. Still have the Greninja for the Mandibuzz, but I'm gonna have to live without it. But, he goes into his Age of Slash. I go into mine. I think that was a misclick. Yeah, I think I did actually misclick there. I think I meant to go into Kangaskhan, but I actually don't 100% remember, so don't quote me. But whatever the case, I'm just trying to stay in and do shit. I go into Gengar just because it's not going to be as useful as I like, so I might as well just try and get some damage off so I can make Kangaskhan's job a bit easier. So that's just what I'm going to do. Go Sludge Bomb. I poison him, so that's actually really cool because that's just going to make the Mana Buzz that much easier to deal with, and also knockoffs down doing nothing because a fucking king shield. Who would have known that actually would have come in handy against mana buzz? Like, damn. <laughs> but anyways, I'm just trying to get some more damage off at this point. He's just roosting out. No point to really. I mean, there is a point to him kind of stalling, but at the same time there isn't because it's just like he's still giving me a low amount of health anyways. Also, I shadow ball last turn just in case he predicted sludge bomb and wanted to switch out, but whatever the case, now I'm gonna go into Kangaskhan, cause I can kill this thing no problem. I figure he may predict me and just go for power up punch, so I'm just gonna straight up return, and that's gonna take the fucker down. And he's gonna go into Keldeo right here, and I figure he's gonna predict me and go into Aegislash, so I'm just gonna go return again, and uh, yeah, mega fucking Kangaskhan, folks. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's all you gotta say about it, mega fucking Kangaskhan. But here he's just going to go into Age of Slash, which he should have done in the first place, but I guess he was hoping I would play that same prediction game, but I did predict him to go for the Surf, predicting me to go to Age of Slash, predicting Sacred Sword, so I was like, yeah. But anyways, I'm just going to earthquake the thing, the Age of Slash, and I'm like, well, fuck, he has weakness policy, so that's going to take me out. He would have taken me out anyways, no matter what, but it was like, I was really hoping Earthquake was going to do a bit more, but since I had no power-up punches up, that kind of makes sense, but anyways, now we're going to play a little bit of a game with our Age of Slashes, and I'm like, okay... We'll just see what he does. I go for... Well, he goes King Shield right there. I just go Shadow Ball. I'm going to King Shield right here because, I mean, it seems pretty painfully obvious. He's just going to go for Sneak since it does seem like a perfect setup for him to do it. And he does Sneak and it pays off because I get the King Shield going and, uh, you know, I'm able to take the hit fairly well and then take him down. So that should make, hopefully, this game against Rotom a bit easier. You know, provided he doesn't have Will-O-Wisp, I'm going to assume he does have it, but at the same time, in case he goes for Hydro Pump instead, I do King's Shield, which it pays off because he goes Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump's doing 29%, and Shadow Ball does a bit over half of his health, so I can just King's Shield this turn and then go for another Shadow Ball the next turn and take him down, and he forfeits right there, which tells me I guess he didn't have the Will-O-Wisp, or... He was thinking, oh, he's just special anyways, it doesn't matter. I guess he might not have known that, uh... King Shield goes, or Willowis goes through King Shield, but I don't know. Whatever the case, that is the game. So GG, guys. Actually, a really fun game. It was a bit long and a bit stally, but, you know, it did play out very nice and it was very fun. So, uh, yeah. So, that's it for this. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, my voice wasn't too dead for you guys and hopefully I wasn't too incredibly loud, question mark, but <laughs> whatever. Anyways, that's it for this. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Rick, comment, sub, and later, guys.